Hello, anyone, everyone, and no one. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Simply Bedrock. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I haven't played Minecraft in like a week and a half, and this is a bit much. A bit much. Now, if any of you keep up to date on my channel, you'll know I haven't put out a video in quite a while now. I haven't put out a video because, well, life and things have been going on. But, you know, in the, uh, in the things that have been going on, stuff and things, I've got a new computer, pretty much. I mean, it is pretty much now, finally, a new, new computer compared to where it used to be. I mean, nine months ago when I started doing this stuff with Truly Bedrock, before Simply Bedrock, I would have never thought it would have came to this point at all. Never. I mean, I used to be rocking an old dual core, four gigabytes of RAM, you know, just a one terabyte hard drive. I mean, just craziness onboard graphics no graphics card and today where i'm at today with this is it's it's insanity it's insanity the support from you all the community is just it's beyond words i cannot put it into words what you all have done the number of times that this community has shocked me has been baffling it really has it's been baffling but here we are here we are new computer we're on Simply Bedrock today, and I'm testing out new recording settings. I was debating going 1080, and I may eventually bump it up. Right now, I'm still 720. 720, 60 frames a second at a lot higher quality. A lot higher quality. Don't know how everything's going to react when it gets to editing or anything else like that, but here we are. So today, today I'm on Simply Bedrock, as I said. You know, trying to work out all the kinks and everything with the new computer, the new recording setup. And I'm joined by quite a few people on the server today. And what we are doing right now, the plan of action right now anyways, is to get a bulk community storage area set up. Now, if I come over here, to over here at actual spawn spawn real quick, we do have a community area right here. This community area is for when people join and need stuff or people just want to store stuff here this is for anybody to grab at any time so a new person joins they need some leather it's here they need puffer fish hey it's there whatever this whole area here is designated for that but we need a different style community area what we need is bulk storage for what in the world is going on here okay um looks like somebody's making concrete there we need a bulk storage for community projects. If you had seen before, in Season 0 of Simply Bedrock, our first experiment with Bedrock servers, we did a lot of massive farms. We did a giant mob farm, we did a giant goat farm, and we're going to do these kinds of things here too. They require a lot of resources when we go to do them. So this time, before we go to do anything like that, we've allowed people to set up their bases, get perimeters set and everything before we even thought about this. Now we're getting to the point where we want to start doing some big community builds. We need tons upon tons of stone, tons upon tons of wood. There's just all kinds of things that we're going to need. And so that's what we're doing here. Brew here is going to design a building. Uh, everyone else over here I think is pretty much just labor at the moment. It looks like we're clearing out this area, building the ground up here, and we're going to build a bulk storage house here. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into chat with everybody, see what's going on, and see if we can get something accomplished here. So yeah, let's jump in there, shall we? I have no issues with polished diorite. I have no issues with any block in the game, honestly. And, okay, so I did a little bit of recording explaining to everybody what's going on. So, yeah, what what can I do to help? Is there anything I can do, Rue? Uh, I think we will now place the flooring. Okay, so is the floor the, going to be this dirt level, or are we going to come up one additional that's level? The third, the fourth. Okay. All right. So, how big of a footprint are we going with here? I mean, you're designing this. I'm just here as labor, labor at the moment with everybody else. It man. Well, bye. Fine. Don't stay. <laughs> I'll see how it is. Mm -hmm. I was thinking. I was thinking maybe for now do it. Uh, doing it till here. I got some visualizer on, so. This okay. Is the border of the last chunk. Okay, so if you've got the blocks, place out the corners, and we'll fill in the area in between. Okay. All right. 
Alright, yep, okay. Uh, I'll get to putting this down while they're filling that area up. Yep. I'll bring the tea and biscuits. Okay, you bring the tea and biscuits. Wait, biscuits I don't I don't like tea. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, well, we'll get you some orange juice. Can I have a, a nice cold Pepsi? Oh, we don't serve Pepsi, it's only Coke. Oh, you're one of them places. Oh, man. <laughs> Why am I here again? Um, um... Hmm... Alright, boss. Floor's in. What we do next? Okay, maybe... Tea I time. think it's better to do the redstone now. Mm, no, no, tea time. Cut to scene of table set up with tea. Let's go. Mm. Tea and cake, anyone? Tea and cake? We have our nice little gazebo here. We can have some tea and cake. Big jog, okay, everybody, yeah. come on, come on. Break time. Break time. Look at this, everybody shows up for break time. Okay, yeah, so we got some, <laughs> we got some cake here. Mm, very good, very good. Got our tea. Oh, man, somebody's even brewing up some tea. That's nice. Very nice. Um, why are you jumping on the cake? Nobody's gonna want the cake after you've had your feet in it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got this nice little area here, so we can stop and have our break and have our tea and everything like that. And now we've got. I guess now that we've built this, it's time to get back to work. I mean, it feels like Rue is just making us work to death. I mean, you have this up here changing yep. out stuff to grass, and oh, it's just non stop. Let's go. Emeralds, emeralds. I'll take emeralds. Let's go. What? The work. Okay, alright, so we've got the floor. We've got our nice little gazebo up there for tea. What do we do next? What, what do we Item sorter. Item sorter. That, that, that's, that's a one person job right there. That, that, you don't need me for that. Here, you can have that. Alright, things are actually coming along here really, really, really good. Everybody's down here working on this community storage area. We built a little tea time gazebo up here, you know. That that was actually a lot of fun. But I'm kind of feeling lost. I'm not sure what I can do to help right now. Everybody's kind of got their own game plan of what's going on down here. And it's working good. Everybody's working together. But I'm, uh, I'm not sure of what I want to do, you know, because don't have much dirt here. And I mean, let's see here. Who is that up there? Big Jock up here is kind of replacing this mountain out. But I want to start gathering up some resources for the bulk storage area and quite a few people already have if we come over here you know we got tons of chests here already um i think these are people's personal shulker boxes and it, it's coming along as i said it's coming along really good wow that's a lot of redstone components i want to run over here for just a little bit and use this poor man's tree farm over here and just gather up a bunch of spruce because for bulk storage for community projects, we're going to need a lot of materials. A lot. Wood is going to be one of them. Stone is going to be one of them. Redstone is going to be one of them. And, yeah, there, you don't want to get too many hands in a pot over there. there. There's a lot of people doing something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time here choppy choppy in some trees. Now, I think there's a beacon around here somewhere. If not... I may go acquire one real quick to make this process a lot quicker. But yes, I am going to gather some wood while they continue to build on that. And we'll be right back. And been at this for a little bit now. A little bit now. Uh, I've had a few people come over here and help me. We're up to one, two, three. About three and a half. Three and a half double chests of logs there. It, it's, it's a good start. Wanted to come over here to see what's going on over here. Because I know they've been over here continuing to work on this area. And wow. It's moving along really quickly, so it looks like we've got the vast majority of all the chests in, and it looks like they are running. I just, I just want to go up. Want to go up? Looks like they're running the redstone in now, so we've got the hoppers in place. Nice. I mean, this is coming together quickly. You know, this is the stuff right here that I love. This is the stuff that makes Minecraft fun for me. It's the community build projects. Yeah, everybody having their own bases is cool. I love seeing them, but I love when people come together to do stuff like this. Mom, them <laughs> words, words are difficult. You can knock out massive builds really quick, and this is what I love here. 
so yeah I mean it, it's going good I already got a good supply of wood going in they are working on this area over here you know what today may be just a gathering day for me you know I haven't played Minecraft for a while as I said and I think it may be a day of just gathering resources get some wood together maybe go ahead and get some sand together because a mob farm is coming I don't know what farm is going to be coming first but that is definitely one of them that's going to be coming and if we do like last time and do it in the desert yeah i mean we could go ahead and level out the desert i like this idea i like this idea so yeah i'm going to continue on here we're going to continue gathering up resources and we'll be back with another update here in just a minute um that uh, sir why is there a cow eating the cake um, I, I don't know. I thought you put it there. Did you put him there? Don't get- You killed the cow?! <gasps> now we can have steak and cake. Rude. <laughs> steak and cake, everybody! Hey, steak like, and cake! Is that like shake and bake? Yeah. yeah. steak and cake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> steak and cake. Steak he and cake. He was only wanting a piece of cake there, Slack. Jeez. Steak well, I wanted a steak. So now we got steak and cake. You enjoyed that. You know it's funny. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. You get your steak. Um, somehow I got fish. I don't. I don't want the fish. I got the cake. Here we go. And we got steak and cake. But you mean okay? Ghosty's ghosty steak. Right. Okay. Mm. So progress update. Progress update. Rue, how's it going down there, buddy? Oh, he can't hear me no more, can he? No. Nope. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he likes us anymore. I keep making his life very difficult, don't I? I bet he doesn't volunteer to do a project <laughs> next time. Yeah, so in here, either. yeah, so in here, uh, everything's been readjusted a little bit. Everything's going to bleed down into shulker boxes down here. Back here, ideally, is going to go a million item shulker storage system. So it, it's turning out really good for Jack. Hi, Jack. Are you out there, Jack? I don't exist. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm not Jack. You're That's not Jack. You're not Jack. Okay. Yeah. Well, not Jack has been conned into coming over here and <laughs> working on the roof. Just like old times, isn't it, Jack? Somebody builds a giant redstone monstrosity and you get to hide everything. I know you love that so much, don't you? Yes, I'm just feeling the love. I need a hug from Merrick. That's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think Merrick's on right now. But, I mean, things are coming along. Things are coming along. We went out there to the icebergs out here and obliterate some of them. So we've got some packed ice in reserve, throwing the spruce logs in here that we chopped down earlier. I think next on the list, uh, I'm pretty sure we can get stone just about anywhere. But I was thinking about, we're gonna do the mob farm eventually too. And usually with the mob farm, you know, I like doing them in the desert. You don't deal with storms or rain and hiccups and anything like that. But I think next, Jack, you said there was a good desert area over by your base. Yeah, it may be uh, worthy. It doesn't have a lot of rivers going through it, and I'm pretty sure it'll be a good size for the uh, for the mob farm, for the ticking area. Yeah, for the ticking area. If not, uh, maybe we can ask Jock about the area down close to his base. But that would get into his territory, so that would be kind of a personal thing. Okay. Um, but, uh, there's also some hmm? desert out at our area. That's a little bit outside of our area. I don't know how big it is, but we could check it out as well. Okay, well, we'll start. We'll go over and look at the one by Jack and Gypsy's area. And if it's big enough, I'll turn on the chunk visualizer. And we'll, if it is, we'll go ahead and flatten it out and collect up a bunch of sand, make up some glass, all kinds of goody good goods. So, yeah, let's, let's go check that out. Lead the way, Gypsy. We picked out an area where the mob farm is going to go. And I've been gone for a couple hours. Wasn't feeling too good, had a few things to go do, and wow, they have been busy. They have started leveling this out like crazy. Awesome. This is awesome. Maybe I need to uh, go do other stuff more often. Wow. I didn't expect this whole thing to be flattened out to this degree already. I'm serious, it's only been a few hours since the last clip. You know, I haven't been on here. You know, we came over here, we picked out an area, and I was like, okay, yeah, I got something to go do. Wow. This is like almost a full perimeter already. How many people are okay? All right, that that might explain something. This is this is crazy. This is awesome. I love this. I love this. So yeah, I mean things are coming along here pretty good. There is a lot of storage over here. I am just curious. Let's take a look here. What's going on over here? Nothing there. 
are we organizing or is it just thrown in here wow that's a lot of sand a lot more sand wow they have been some busy people okay so yeah i'm going to um jump into chat and see what has been going on be right back sandwich time hey hey i want a sandwich can i have a sandwich too please i don't know how to react to this everybody you know, I, I, when I joined chat just a second ago, you know, y'all were telling me how Nat died and Zeph didn't protect her. But he's over here protecting right. Big Baby. Not sure how to react about this. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you sure I'm protecting and not, like, uh, antagonizing by burying him and stuff? Oh, it looks a lot like protection. I mean, your wife just died and you, you didn't save her in-game. Big, no. hey. Big Baby's going to AFK getting sandwiches, okay? And you're encasing him in a layer of protection. I'm not sure how I react about this. Here, here. I need a sign. Uh, no, I'm not doing nothing. Just so you know. There you go. Maybe that'll help. Maybe you need to get that. go back in there and do that a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I have obsidian. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I have obsidian in my... Uh... Here lies Nat, her first official death on the server. May she rest in peace. <laughs> Man, okay, okay, all right. Update, 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 update. Um, things have went a lot further than I actually planned for them to go yesterday. Well, I originally was just going to come over here and gather up some sand, but as you've seen, everybody was busy, so I jumped in with everybody else. And yeah, yeah, the uh. The perimeter for where the mob farm is going to go has been completely slabbed out. Everything has been removed here. Everything has been slabbed out. It's actually really, really shocking. You know, I stayed on here late with everybody last night. And I didn't figure everything would get completed to the degree that it has. But yeah, it, it, it has. And then on top of that, I've already learned that throughout the day today, that's what all these little light spots are. People have been going down and lighting caves already. I mean, this area is almost completely prepped for a mob farm. It is crazy. And then, of course, Jack started working on this. This is going to be our central spire leading up to where the mob farm is going to be this time. So we're going to have like our main AFK platform up there. We discussed it a little bit. Storage is probably going to be underneath this time instead of up there. Just so we can do try to make this look really really good when we actually go to build it and i'm really shocked and actually i love this thing right here the creeper face and then on this side you got the zombie face and with the clear glass that thing looks awesome now i know he's still building on the tower at least i think he is he may be done i could be wrong i think he's still building on it but this thing looks amazing i mean yeah i am really shocked with the amount of progress that's been made on this uh, that was not the intention when I started out recording yesterday, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. Now, if we come down here, you know, as I said, bubble column going up to the top here, we went through every bit of the sandstone and every bit of the sand from yesterday. I don't think there was any leftover hardly whatsoever. That was what was in my inventory just a minute ago that I cleared out when I logged out last night. No, completely gone, completely gone, but awesome nonetheless. So I want to jump over to spawn now and see what's happened over there because that was yesterday and to my understanding they have still been working on the new storage building for the community projects where we're going to store everything. So let me jump over there real quick. Alright and we've made it back over here to spawn and it's, wow they did make some major changes to that thing. That is a lot of quartz. That is a lot of quartz. Is that how roof made out of quartz? Let's come up here and see. That was our last rocket. Yeah, all right, that's that's pretty interesting. Now, I don't think everything is finished yet, but it is definitely, definitely getting there. I really like it. And let's see here, we got our unloading room right here. A little bit dark in here. Okay, so apparently this is tied to that redstone there. All right, so we may need some more input chests because I don't think one's gonna be enough. I don't know if the item filters have been put into place yet. Let's jump around here. Can we see? What do we got going on here? Um, that, okay, that doesn't answer that question. 
go to this one here. No, so apparently the filters haven't been put into place yet. But that's trivial, that's trivial. We changed the system up to a cascade system where you could put shulkers down here at the bottom. Each of these individual modules, there's five for each filter so that they can store a bunch. So like wood, stone, dirt, gravel, sand, glass. So it can be a mass, mass bulk storage. And aside from lighting, it looks really, really good in here. Now what I want to do next actually is because we're going to have this. But I want somewhere to store all this when it's all done. So like, yeah, you come in here, okay, say this one's stone, you break off the shulkers, you put them somewhere. And where else would I put them? In my million item shulker storage system. You know, the modified one for better condition. But I think I am going to come right back here. I am going to knock this wall out back here. I'm sure they're going to love that. And I am going to build one of those probably back here. I don't think there was room over here. I'm not sure what this additional room was. Maybe I should go over here and check. No, it just looks like a room at this time. That's great. Okay, so yes. Um, million item shulker storage system incoming right here. And million item shulker storage system in. And yeah, as you can see here, <laughs> Rue probably made a mistake yesterday. You know, me and him went digging. Hold on, doggies. No, no doggies. No, no. Not tear up my blanket. Daddy loves you, but do not tear up his blanket. But yeah, Rue may have made a mistake yesterday when he inadvertently left me. And it wasn't his fault. You know, we all have life situations that come up. But I uh, got this thing built up yesterday and decided that I wanted to go do a little bit of quartz mining. All right, so that turned into quite a lot of quartz mining. Then, of course, Rue got offline, and I started changing some stuff. And then I may have called for some backup over here, and more quartz may have been acquired, and the site may have been involved, and this whole thing changed up. But it does look good, you know? It, it looks good. It's a good change. Now, the filters on this still have not been set, and they're hidden around here somewhere. Not sure where but i do love the changes with this thing and i've been thinking about it even more and i do want to make some additional changes but they're not going to be for today right now this system is going to work you know we're going to get the item filters in and just put shulker boxes here and as people unload items that can be used for community builds in here they will fill up into shulkers now what i want to do is i more or less want to take that bottom part of that the shulker loader part and dig out underneath of this area kind of create a basement where shulkers can be loaded into everything and have all these feed into one system and when that shulker box gets filled it auto breaks goes into a water stream and ends up inside the system and a new one is placed down in its place i think that's what i want to do with this system but that as i said is not going to be for today for today though this thing is just about done we have got this thing in here we've got some ice we've got some logs a few random things still got to set up the item filters but i really love how this room this building has turned out now if we jump out here to the outside here still a few chests to clean up still got to get the unloading room in but yes i love the lighting through the roof i love the little tea time gazebo up here and yeah oh yeah forgot about this back here still got to finish hiding up the redstone for this thing but i like it. it it's really nice and it sounded like somebody just stepped on the dog in the other room <laughs> but yeah i think this is where I'm going to wrap up this episode. I mean, we got the prepped area for the mob farm. We got the prepped area for storage. Just a little bit more to do here, and this thing is good to go. And then here soon, it looks like the mob farm is going to be coming. But I think that's just about where I'm going to wrap up today's episode. So if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to drop a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye! Can we, can we fly? Yay, we can fly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not good. <laughs>